Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I will be showing y'all some books that I really need to read. So if you have been following my channel for a while or more recently, I guess, I made a books I really need to read video back in January. I just talked about some books that I really need to read because they have been sitting on my bookshelf for a while. They weren't new releases, they've just been sitting on my bookshelf for so long that I just need to read them. And that's going what I am going to to be doing in this video as well. A bunch of these, almost all of these are not new releases. They've just been sitting back there for a while or I've just had them for a while and I just haven't gotten around to reading them. I will say the first video did motivate me somewhat to read those books. I believe I've read two out of the ones on that list so hopefully this video will keep me motivated as well. So anyways, let's get into these books. The first book that I have here is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. So if you watched my reading vlog that I did a few videos ago, you would know that I read The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. Yes, I read it before Simon, but I really want to read it nonetheless. And I can't wait for the movie to come out, and I really want to read the book before I see the movie, and the movie comes out super, super soon, so I need to get on this. If you did not know what this book is about, it follows your main character Simon who's in high school and he has not told anyone that he is gay, but then he meets a guy online anonymously I believe and they use secret code names they don't tell each other their actual names to talk to each other and this guy he doesn't know is actually gay at their school as well but they don't know who they really are and I think someone finds these emails that Simon has been um, sending to this guy and I think is blackmailing him. I say think because I love to go into books blind if you didn't know. Sorry if this video doesn't have that great of synopses. I, I don't like doing my research before reading a book because I like to go into them blind. It just heightens the reading experience for me so I hope it does the same for y'all. I really hope to get to this one soon because The Upset of Unrequited was absolutely fantastic. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars because it connects to me on such a deep level and I loved the main character so hopefully I will love the main character in this book as well. The next book that I I really need to read is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by JK Rowling the illustrated edition by Jim K yeah illustrations by Jim K so if you didn't know at the beginning of the year I made a goal for myself to read the three illustrated editions one for each month January February March and hopefully I would get through all the illustrated editions by the end of March I have only read the Sorcerer's Stone that was I believe in January I think it was good for January I read it I did not read this in February I think it's just because honestly whenever I set a TBR for myself I don't really complete it <laughs> even something as simple as rereading the Harry Potter series you know I, I really 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 want to read it because I don't want to spoil myself and seeing all the beautiful artwork so I haven't done that I haven't even opened this book yet and I really really want to the third book on this list is the Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier as well as the second book in the series duology I have both of them the second ones right there I just haven't gotten around to reading them yet I have both of them so I could easily binge them them, but no I haven't read them yet I'm sorry <laughs> I don't really know all that much about this book series I do know that there is a girl who I believe is set in an arranged marriage to a guy who is rumored to kill all of his wives I think that's what's going on here don't count me on that I've seen so many people read this book I have heard mixed reviews though so that's why I think I have maybe not read it yet just because I don't want to be let down because I've heard such great things about it but I've also heard people say really negative things about it and I don't know I don't really want to read a book that won't be good for me you know so I don't I don't know and for any of these books let me know down below if you've read them what you thought about them I would love to know but this book does seem super intriguing to me because if y'all didn't know I'm a romance romance freak and I love books that have arranged marriages in them and then they like actually learn to love the person they're in an arranged marriage with. I don't know if this is what's gonna happen because the guy's rumored to kill all of his wives <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. The next book that I have here is Sense and Sensibility by Miss Jane Austen. If you didn't know Jane Austen is one of my favorite authors of all all time. I love Pride and Prejudice, one of my favorite classics of all time, and I feel like I need to read more of her works. 
because I haven't read all of them, and I think I should since she's one of my favorite authors. And I remember watching the movie Sense and Sensibility starring Kate Winslet back in middle school maybe because I was on a Pride and Prejudice high and I needed to watch some more Jane Austen movies, I guess, and I think I wasn't ready to read the book yet, so I just watched the movie. Yes, I watched the movie before I read the book. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't really remember all that much in the movie, but I do know that there are these two sisters. Both of them have guy troubles or they both have fallen in love and there's trouble with the people they're falling in love with. That's all I really remember about the movie. I think I've heard that it's a great adaptation and the representation of the book is pretty good. So that's what I'm basing it off of as the synopsis. Just look how beautiful this edition is, by the way. I'm in love with it. And I really want to read this one because I've just heard hype about Pride and Prejudice so much because it is such an amazing book. But I would love to read some more of her works and I know that people really enjoy this book but I haven't heard all that much about it so hopefully I can get a taste for it myself. And the last book on this list is Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemmerer. Hopefully that's how you say it. I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry. But this actually is a newer release, I believe. So this book has been out for a little while. I actually bought this on Book Outlet recently and I maybe even bought it last month or in January. I don't even know if I put this in a haul video. I don't remember. I don't really remember talking about it. So this book is centered around our two main characters, Juliet and Declan. Juliet has recently lost her mother and the way she copes with the grief and the loss of her mother not being here with her is she writes letters to her and re and leaves them at her grave. And Declan, I believe, is a delinquent of some sort, and I think he has to do community service at the cemetery where her mother's grave is, and I believe he comes across one of the letters, and I think they start a correspondence together and write letters to each other once he finds that letter, and I think he leaves one himself, and they write letters back and forth to each other. I thought this was a super cute premise, and I love a good romance book. I think this is romance YA, by the way. Not romance YA, but it's a YA book with some romance. And obviously I believe there's gonna be some dealings with grief and loss with Juliet and Declan maybe helping her with that, hopefully. And I am just really looking forward to this and I really need to read it because it sounds super good and I know that I'm probably gonna like it. So these are the books that I really need to read. Whoa, <laughs> they're falling. <laughs> hopefully I can get to them soon. I'm planning on reading a bunch of these soon. So hopefully I actually meet that goal and actually do it. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and tell me what you think about them. I would love to start up a conversation with you about any of these books. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all soon with a new video. Bye!